What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. A question I get quite often is what is a fuzzy guard? Usually someone has heard me mention it in a video or stream or it's a term picked up on, for example, Tekken Reddit or any sort of Tekken forum or Twitter maybe. And people are usually perplexed, like what does it mean? And yeah, I, honestly, the first time I heard the term was like, 15 years ago and then I would hear it for another 10 years I think before someone actually explained what it was to me. I didn't really care too much um, But what a fuzzy guard is is basically a great way of dealing with uh, fake mix-ups and something you're most likely utilizing without even thinking about it uh, Basically, I'm going to demonstrate uh, certain ways um, in certain ways what this is but for example Kalsia you know back to 14 frame mid he can follow that with a high that's quite fast back to four or back to one now you'd think oh this is a mix-up you know it's either a high that's very good on block safe or he takes a risk and does a mid and you know the mid will catch you if you if you duck for four that would make it a proper 50-50, but this is actually fuzzy guardable. So what this means is that if you duck the 4, the 1 option is so much lower than the 4 option that you can actually uh, confirm a duck here on the 4 and then whoop, go up again to block the 1. This is fuzzy guarding and dealing with both options at the same time. That is a fuzzy guard. Another way of looking at this is looking at lazy Mishima players, which I used to be one. Uh, uh, my brother, Valle, when I played against him during Tag 2, I always did this. Two crouch dashes uh, or into a hell sweep, like so. Or I did one crouch dash into forward free. That was my go-to 50-50. And you know what? He blocked it every time. And I was like... How do you do this? It's a 50-50, it's impossible! But this was me being bad with timing. And actually, he could, from the first crouch dash, he knew, okay, main man is now either going to do dual crouch dash hell sweep or dual crouch dash forward four, for free. And with me utilizing that timing, he could actually fuzzy guard it. So it was not a legit mix up. From that first crouch dash he saw, he immediately went down into a crouch to deal with the hell sweep. And then after a certain time had passed, he would just go up with his back to block the forward floor. Free, sorry, not forward, forward, four. I will now try and demonstrate what this looks like. You see, this is me dealing with my own tag to mix up. And I just ate it. But this is me fuzzy guarding it. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. gasps> so you will get hit by it once in a while, but the fuzzy guard, as you can see, will help you greatly here versus lazy Mishima players who always utilize the same timing. So uh, that is the fuzzy guard. And it's an, a very, very important technique. It's very strong. It's very good, especially in certain matchups. It's like fantastic. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate maybe this as well. This is me fuzzy guarding it. So you see, I'm ducking the four and blocking the one. Fuzzy guard. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is the fuzzy guard. I hope you understand uh, the, the technique. And again, uh, to not be one of those lazy Mishima players, all I had to do was basically, instead of always doing crouch dash, crouch dash, uh, crouch dash, crouch dash, crouch dash, crouch dash, God, that's hard to say as a Swede. Crouch dash, crouch dash immediately into hell sweep or crouch dash forward free all i had to do to catch him off guard and, and this took me very a very long time to realize just delay the second crouch dash just a little bit wait instead of doing huh, huh, super fast i would just delay the hell sweep a little bit 
It sounds so simplistic. It sounds like nothing. It sounds like, oh, you need 20 IQ to realize that. But that took me a long time to understand. Timing. And what my brother was doing with that fuzzy guard. So I, all I had, had to do was change up the timing of my health sweep. Or, of course, add multiple wave dashes uh, is always a good thing. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's very important to know that. Uh, and another uh, string, which is somewhat fuzzy guardable. Wait, I'm going to stick with cows, you know. Is uh, actually geese is 50-50. And geese is 50-50, as most of you know, is highly annoying. He'll do core circle back two into either a sweep that gives you a guaranteed stand up. Die! Or he'll do a, uh, well, uh, an axe kick that knocks you down into stand up. Die! Uh, so let's record this. Again, like, I don't know if I'll be able to fuzzy guard this. But some players who are really good at, at what I just explained can do this. And it's because uh, that axe kick is faster than the sweep. So what you do is, as soon as you see Geese's first attack there, the right hand, you do a standing guard, and then, just two frames later, you duck down into a crouch. So, block the axe kick, oh, and then into a guard, uh, crouch. Like so. Oh! Fucking troll. But yeah, I fuzzy guarded. I ate it. The, hell, the sweep is much lower. Fuzzy guard. So if you get good at this, the geese matchup, which is highly annoying, can get much, much easier. So again, block is the axe Oh, the axe kick should have come by now. It didn't come. Oh, it must be the sweep. Go down. Wait long enough to absorb the kick. It's not coming. Crouch. Much easier now, uh, the matchup. So, uh, that is the fuzzy guard. I hope I did a breakdown here in a way that made it easily digestible to you and that you understand what it is now and that it can help you tremendously, especially against lazy players who think they are actually utilizing a legit 50-50 but in reality, it's not, if you just sharpen your defense a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a lovely day. Take care.